so many of us live with regrets. The truth is, we should be living in such a way that we have no regrets because we lived a meaningful life. As you discover your God-given purpose, you are truly fulfilled and you're inspired to help others. My purpose in this show is to build your faith so you learn to find complete fulfillment and joy in this life as we prepare for the next. Legendary faith is faith that continues throughout the generations. It starts with us and ends with Jesus. What is your destiny? Join me in this journey to discover how to build a legacy that never ends. Hang tight, legend. God has the very best in store for you. Happy New Year! It's that time of year again. We make our commitments to do better, to be better. But then the new wears off, and then what? I hope this time of year is a joyful one for you and that you are stress free. But even better, my prayer for you is that you make a commitment to live your best life yet and to make it truly a year of progress. Because building a legacy of faith is about consistently becoming the person God made us to be. This is not a temporary fix. Temporary fixes are useless. We need sustainability. Being sustainable produces progress. You and I will never get to where God, the greatness God wants us to be, if we keep falling off the wagon. Nobody wants to keep falling off the wagon. Come on, friends, get on the wagon and keep going. Now, in the Bible, in the book of Exodus, the Israelites wandered in the desert for 40 years when it should have only taken 11 years. That's a lot of wasted time. So what was the holdup? The holdup was their lack of belief and their disobedience. The fact that they kept falling off the wagon. Friends, to complete our mission on this short life of ours, we must keep traveling forward. We must keep making progress. And to do that in the best way possible, we must have a vision. And if you don't have a vision, now at the beginning of the year is a great opportunity for you to lay it all out. Get it wrote down on paper so you have a vision, but then you must take action. Because faith without works is dead. And that, my friends, comes from the Bible. We must commit this year to never giving up because we know in our history's past that hard times will come. But if we have it set in our minds ahead of time, and now's the perfect time, that we will never give up then we are more apt to not give up. Now, I must say, I've had plenty of opportunity to give up. How about you? Like every time I didn't get my way, which was a lot, I was tempted to give up. Did I do it? Well, some things I was okay at giving up at. But other things, no matter what, I just have this drive to get up and keep going. 
faults and all. Besides, faults are what make us who we are. After we choose to keep going. What we perceive as failure is really opportunity. You know, growing up, I really wanted to be a model or an actress. I know, seems crazy and outlandish now. But I was so determined. I was looking at my old journal and I, wow, I was determined. But now it just seems absurd. I mean, I don't want to be around all that failed. Now, there are some good role models in that area. But for me, it's just not something I'm interested in now. Now, maybe your dream as a child went through changes or maybe... It's like your dream today. In any case, the point is not so much as what you do as who you become. It's not good to acquire riches as the president of your company if you're going to be nasty and a mean person who spews hatred. You will influence more people in a positive way. If you are giving, kind, and compassionate, and a servant leader, and to hold such a position in such good standards, you have to have good character. And many of us today lack the traits of such a standard. We have to be shaken and pressed down on every side. And that's okay, because we have a great mission. And our mission should be to inspire others for positive change. So your best bet is to become that Christian influencer in whatever vocation you are currently in. And then see where that takes you. It might just take you into a position higher than you've ever dreamed of. Because ultimately, your mission should be big, huge. One in which you are in such a position that you will help the masses. Perhaps you'll build an orphanage. Or maybe you'll help your community. We're here to dream big, but it's not just about us. It's not just about us anymore. It's about others. And this is your greater mission. So did I fail at wanting to become a model or actress? After all, I got one modeling job, and hey, I have a YouTube channel. Does that count? Here's the deal. Just like now, every part of my so-called failures, the hard times, the good times, it's all part of my journey. So what's the roadmap to your life look like? And have you been tempted to give up? We need to quit looking for quick fixes and focus on a long-term vision. Find the things that are worth giving up, a.k.a. smoking, drinking, foul language. Sure, we can give those things up. But a dream bigger than ourselves? Let's not give up on that. Because you have an enemy that is working very hard to ensure that that happens for you. But you are greater than that. You have a bigger mission and you are stronger. So we 
That is part of our progress this year is to be on guard. Make a commitment today to be on guard against the enemy's tactics. To become someone greater than you are right now, you must commit to working on your character. God cares about your character. And if you're stealing, lying, jealous, disobedient, these things need to be changed, obviously. But are you willing to change them? Are you willing to do the work? The first step is to ask for help and ask for forgiveness. The next, let's get busy, shall we? Because I don't know about you, but I don't want to waste any more time. This year, I'm devoted to being resilient. Our character will be worked out like a muscle. We'll have to learn to have compassion and not talk about people behind their back and not be like those other people. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be quiet. And when you believe it's time to speak up, ask Ask for the Holy Spirit's assistance. He is willing to help you. And trust me, he knows best. So maybe the way you will learn to be better is that someone you love talks behind your back. And as a result, the pain of this causes you to have compassion. You see, because all things work out for the better, for those who love God. Now, God didn't cause such pain to happen, per se. But remember, if you're lacking in the area of compassion, then this will will be worked out like a muscle. You have to go through it. You have to experience it. And then on the other side, you are much better off And you are growing, my friend. And you are making progress. 1 Corinthians 10, 11 through 13 says that these things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us on whom the culmination of the ages has come. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. God is on our side. And that's the great thing about God. I mean, he knows our future. He knows our present. He made us. He knows everything about us. But so often we take that for granted. But it's easier said than done when you're going through hell and back. This is why we must commit and be on guard. Here's the question you must ask yourself. If you give up now on what you're striving for, will you regret your decision? Now, I don't regret giving up drinking or smoking But if I gave up on writing when I didn't get my first book deal, I would not be here now on this podcast. That's the roadmap of my life. It's part of who I am. One thing leads to another, leads to another. And what I feed it determines the outcome. Am I feeding my life good things? Or am I feeding am I feeding my life destruction? And friends, there's enough destruction in this world today. There's enough evil forces trying to come against us. And it's so easy to go with the flow, to just 
Say, I don't care. That would be the easy way out. But I wouldn't feel good about that inside. That pain would be worse than the pain of, oh, it's hard. This is so hard. I'm so tired of trying to get the number one New York Times bestseller. <laughs> There's so many people trying. But we're trying and trying so hard. Just give it to God and enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. This is what legendary faith is about. I want to help you to build a life now that you won't regret. And I'm in it too. I think so much about this. And I'm striving to become better myself. And I'm reminded almost every day of my faults, right? And it tries to consume me. But then I find my way back to God, to the Bible, to prayer, and I have something to go on. I have something to strive for. And that is why I choose not to give up. It keeps pushing me. And I'm thinking, well, what if what if I die tomorrow? What am I going to leave behind? It doesn't really matter about stuff because, well, then family will just have to go through it. But I want to leave behind a legacy of faith that lasts forever. And I've wasted enough years. I've made enough mistakes. So at least I can become better at making mistakes. Let's not make them so deep and devastating anymore. Let's try to become someone that we can become proud of. Because God loves us regardless. And that's the wonderful thing. That's the one thing that means so much. But then I become consumed by life and my faults. And get all into myself. And I forget that, you know, God loves me. Quit being so hard on myself. And that's what I want for you. And that's my mission. If our mission is to make a year progress, the one thing we must do is not give up. If there are changes that need to be made, They will change as we change. And that's okay. But make the commitment to stand strong and not give up. And think about, really think about who you want to become. This year, make it a year of progress. Progress, not perfection. I don't like perfection. I always fall short. 2 Corinthians 4, 17 says, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Building a legacy means we follow through with our commitments even though the hard times hit. Because we are not like the Israelites who wandered aimlessly in the desert for 40 years. Years. That's almost half my life. We don't have that much time, friends. We don't wonder. We are not wanderers. We are believers. Sent on this earth with a heavenly mission. Commit today to making progress, not perfection. And I'm here to encourage you every step of the way. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a crazy season, but hey, I'm stepping my foot forward and choosing never to give up. And I hope and pray that you will do the same. 
I'll be praying for you to make it a year of progress as well. I believe in you and that you can make the necessary changes to live your best year yet. Join me next week for a dose of inspiration to get you motivated for positive change. And if you enjoyed this podcast and would like to hear more, you can hop on over to alyssamassey.com. And I will see you on the next episode. And remember, the best is yet to come.